Right, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how a company would usually go about preparing a rolling budget. So we have a fictional company example here. We've been given, they prepared a budget initially for the four quarters for the upcoming period. And for, they have all their numbers for revenue, cost of sales, gross profit, distribution cost, admin cost, and end profit, right? So you'll prepare an initial budget for the upcoming period. What you'll also do is you'll write down the key assumptions that you use to make the budget, right? So in this case, selling prices will increase by 3% every quarter. So we can see they went from 100,000 to 103,000 in the next quarter. That the proportion of cost of sales over revenue is expected to remain stable. So we can see that it's 40,000, 40% 40 of revenue. And that's the percentage that has been maintained throughout. Right, distribution costs are expected to increase by 1% each quarter. So they went from 15,000 to 15,150. Admin costs will increase by 1,000 in the last two quarters of every calendar year. So the first two quarters, they're 20,000, then they became 21,000 in the last two quarters, right? So you have your underlying assumptions. Now, what will happen? Depending on which frequency you roll the budget forward by, in this case, we're assuming every quarter, you'll wait till the actual end of the first quarter. So you'll get the actual results of the first quarter, which we have over here. Now, at that point, two things will happen. One, you'll review the assumptions and make any adjustments that you feel are necessary. So maybe you think that sales prices are not gonna increase by 3% every quarter, maybe they're gonna increase by 5% or and so on and so forth, right? So you might need to revise the adjustments or you might think that, okay, the assumptions are fine as we're at the start of the year. In this case, we'll assume there's no difference in the assumptions, okay? Then you'll use the actual numbers from the actual quarter and you'll use that as a starting point to roll forward the budget, okay? Now we need to be careful. The first quarter is actually done. So we're technically at the end of, for example, 31st March of the year. We need to roll forward for an entire year. So we need to prepare the budget for the next four quarters. And that will include the next, four, uh, next quarter, two, three, and four from the same year. But it will also include the next year, let's say year two's quarter one, okay? Because remember, at the end of the day, the budget is still needs to cover an entire year and four quarters. So we need to roll forward for four quarters because this isn't part of the budget. This is the actual numbers, okay? And then using those numbers as a starting point, we'll roll forward the budget. So selling prices, we expect to increase by 3% every quarter, which will increase revenue by 3% every quarter. So we'll simply apply our formula, multiply by 1.03 and we'll carry this formula on for all the subsequent quarters. Okay, let's just format this as well. So we have our numbers for the upcoming quarters. After that, we're assuming that the proportion of cost of sales over revenue is expected to remain stable. We initially assumed it was going to be 40%, which was 40,000 over 100,000 and carried that forward. But now, we, given our actual numbers, that percentage might be different. So we need to calculate the updated percentage based on the actual numbers. So the updated percentage based on the actual numbers is gonna be 41,000 divided by 98,000, which is around 41.8%, okay? So we will apply this percentage now to find our cost of sales in the subsequent uh, months. So we'll take these numbers, apply our formula, and then we'll just copy this formula across the board, okay? Our gross profit will simply be the difference between the cost of sales and the uh, revenue. So we'll just you do that as follows. Uh, let's just apply a grid line so that we're consistent. And then we have our distribution costs. So we say distribution costs are expected to increase by 1% each quarter. So once again, we will take the actual number as a starting point and we will increase it by 1% each quarter for all the subsequent quarters. And admin costs, we expect to increase by 1000 in the last two quarters. So in the second quarter, it will remain the same. In the uh, quarter three of the first year is the last two quarters of the calendar year. So instead of 22,000, this will now be 
23,000. And this will remain consistent for quarter four as well as for year two, quarter one, because that's the first quarter of the next year. So there won't be a thousand increase, right? It'll increase to 24,000 by the third quarter of the next year. Okay, and then we'll simply uh, calculate our profit, which will be as follows. Okay. So that's how we roll forward a budget in a practical setting. The bottom line is you wait till the end of the roll forward period. It can, it can be a quarter, it can be two months, one month, six months, whatever. And you get the actual numbers for the uh, period that just passed by. Based on those actual numbers, you review the assumptions that you used to make the budget initially and you roll forward the budget for the upcoming 12 months or year based using the actual numbers as a starting point and the assumptions that you made. Okay. Once this exercise has been performed, then you'll wait till the end of the next quarter. Then you'll get the actual results for quarter two and you'll use them to roll forward the budget for the next four quarters. So you'll once again review the assumptions and then make the budget for quarter three, quarter four, year two, quarter one, and year two, quarter two. And you'll carry on every quarter, every time. Okay. So hopefully that clarifies how this works in real life and gives you a better understanding of how we prepare a rolling budget.